You think this is good news? Yeah, it could be. Kids are way down the line for you, Stuart. You've always said so. That was then. It hadn't happened. Now it has. So, me and Dad. <laughs> Why not? So, what are you going to do? Isn't it, what are we going to do? You always said you didn't want any more kids now. Has that changed? I don't know. Does Phil know about this? Hmm. <laughs> that was a stupid question. He guessed. Yeah, yeah, of course he did. Yeah. KC Stan, you are so out of order, I don't know where to start. Sorry, Sarge. The thing is, there are no excuses for leaving a colleague halfway through a job. And the way you have just used this area car like your own personal taxi. Sarge. Whatever you were doing was obviously so much more important than your job, you are finished here for the day. You can make your hours up in overtime. I'll take the keys, you can walk back to Sunil. Davies. I saw him in the playground a few minutes ago. Cool. One day. Bingo. I love so much of beauty. Every flower that blows. A little lily is. Warren Davis? Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm arresting you for theft and criminal damage. Hey, hey, hey. Look, no, no, stay where you please, are. Please, stay where you are. Please, stop moving. I just need a few hours. I'll tie myself in the first thing tomorrow, I promise. I'm afraid the law doesn't work like that. Let's go, man. Yes, Nixon. Right. You and Leela follow at a discreet distance. We'll be as quick as we can, all right? And let's use radios. They've spotted Mel Hickey's Astra heading north up Collett Road. Just parked in Maidel Road. Maidel Road? We're just round the corner. Yeah, suspect just taking a black uh, plastic bag. Get to number 34. Martin Hooper's house. Why would Mel go there? Well, maybe he thinks Hooper's behind the stabbing. Jimmy's his best mate. Maybe this is payback for the payback. Reg, we're 30 seconds away. comes with the bin bag. Uh, this is from Jimmy Todd. He says he wants you to know that he's sorry. Do you know what this is? This is the cash from the security van. This is what I took a bullet in the spine for. So Jimmy Todd says he's sorry, does he? Well, I don't want it. Do you hear me? I don't want it. Mr Hickey, following a serious knife attack on Jimmy Todd, a substantial amount of cocaine was found with your prints on under the floorboards on Jimmy's houseboat. No comment. Following a search of your Astra, four wraps of cocaine were found under the passenger seat, which matched the coke found on Jimmy's houseboat. Now, how do you explain that? No comment. You claim Jimmy Todd's your best mate, and yet it's odds on his stabbing is in connection to this cocaine, which he claims he knows nothing about. Did someone mistake him for you? Well, he had you working on his boat's engine so it could start moving, right? And that river stretches far and wide, so what was the plan? To set up supply points along the way? You said Jimmy saved your life. And this is how you repay him. With friends like you, Jimmy doesn't need enemies, does he? I'm the best mate Jimmy ever had. And don't you forget it. I could have been halfway to Calais by now if I hadn't have done Jimmy that favour. What favour? You know what favour. The cash from Martin Hooper. He couldn't forgive himself for paralysing that security guard. That's all he could think about. Why didn't Jimmy deliver the money himself? Because he got stabbed, remember? When I found Jimmy this morning, he thought he was about to croak. So he told me where the money was hidden. Said his last wish in life was that Martin Hooper should have the lot. Yeah, that's all very touching, but let's talk about Jimmy the Coke dealer, shall we? Jimmy knows nothing about the Coke, I swear to God. All right, let's talk about Mel Hickey the Coke dealer, then. Personal use. Five kilos. I don't think so, mate. Who's your supplier? I've no way of knowing. And even if I did, 
It'll be more than my life's worth. Your life won't be worth very much inside, though, will it? Jimmy had such high hopes for you. Excuse me, Mom. Yes, Liz? I'm trying to get hold of Roger and all I'm getting his answer from. Well, maybe he's asleep when you call him. Look, he's not been very well. Why don't you pop around later and see how he is? All right, I might do that. Thank you, Mom. Fifteen arrests so far on the Jasmine Allen estate, from underage drinking to criminal damage. That sounds like a result. Adam Macaro tells me you're concerned about the futures of PC Stamp and Hollis. Should I be? You read this spreadsheet, didn't you? The one in the file marked confidential in large letters. I didn't mean to pry, sir, but it was lying next to your orchid. Let's face it, Gina, PC Stamp and Hollis are past their best. We can get fit, new, young blood at two-thirds their price. I appreciate your loyalty to the team, but I have to be objective. With respect, sir, I had hoped that you would have consulted me about this. I'll be making my decision in a couple of weeks, based on the information at my disposal. I don't think there's anything more for us to discuss. Do you? No, sir. Item one, a bottle of champagne stolen from Blackburn supermarket. Item two, a gold ring from Paris pawnbrokers. Item three, a bouquet of flowers snatched from a Mr. Ted Palmer. So what do you have to say for yourself? Well, what about this book of love poems? Who'd you nick them from? I didn't nick it. That was my mum's. So what's this all about, Warren? We can't help you if you don't help us. My girlfriend's dad don't like me, thinks she can do better. And what's her name? Jenny. Her dad's in the army and he's been posted to Germany. He's taking Jenny with him. I see. I want her to stay. So I thought I'd propose to her tonight, but I wanted to do it properly. When you thought that nicking all of this was doing it properly, did you? I've got no money. Uh, here's a thought. Get a job. I had a job, but then my boss went bust. I'm doing my best. Well, your best isn't good enough, Warren, because you're going to be charged with robbery. So the good thing about Jenny going to Germany is that she won't have to see you in court. I don't care. Nothing matters anymore. Look, maybe your best bet is to give Jenny this book of love poems and write her a romantic note. Then she might think you're worth waiting for. And then you've got a nice happy ending, eh? Yeah. This way. Warren Davis. Thank you. You should get bail. Yeah, I think. Yeah, and then he'll be off to propose to Jenny before she flies to Germany. I bet your tennis, I'll be the same Warren as she catches that plane. Oh, so young, yet so cynical. Behave. <laughs> hey, where are you off to? I've got to pay someone a visit. <clears throat> Sam. Yeah. Facts came through from the network supplier. Right. 